Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Instinct 3 Solar and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone via the Garmin Connect application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the Garmin Connect application to send the notifications to your watch. And to do that, uh, you can check the notification panel. Sometimes if you don't have the required permissions allowed, you will see uh, basically the notifications about them. For example, we have the phone permission request and stuff like that. And you can tap on those notifications, then tap on OK, and it will pop up with the permissions and you will need to allow them. And once you allow them, the notification will be gone. If you're missing this notification, it's possible that it's not there. You can find the Garmin Connect icon, press and hold on it, tap on App Info, tap on Permissions, and here we have two lists. List, list rather allowed and not allowed and we want to allow the phone sms call logs and i believe also calendar and that's about all we can also allow contacts uh, if you want to see the name of the contacts uh, about when you have the notification about the call when i'm sure i'm not sure if it's on even displaying the name of the contact even though you allow the permission you will need to test that yourself okay and uh, once you allow those permissions you can go back and now uh, we have another permission re request, which is um, notification access. If you see this notification, you can tap on it and it should direct you to this page and you can tap on allow. But uh, if you're missing the notification, you can always open the settings on your phone, tap on uh, apps, uh, apps, special apps access. And here you should look for something like device and app notifications or notification access. Once you find one of those, tap on them. It will open the list of applications. You need to find the Garmin Connect, tap on it, and then tap on the switch next to allow notification access to enable it. And once it's enabled, you can go back. And now you should have all of the permissions required. And we can tap on Garmin Connect to open the app. Uh, I'm gonna tap on no thanks for now tap on more, find the Garmin devices, tap on it. And here you should see your Instinct 3 Solar, tap on it. Now scroll through this page, find the notifications and alerts, tap on it, then tap on smart notifications. And here we can customize the settings for our notifications. And we have the status, and we can turn on or off the notifications. And then we have general use, during activity. General use is when you use your watch normally. Basically, uh, you're not recording any type of activity. And during activity is when you're recording the activity. Basically, you have the workout enabled. Let's tap on the uh, general use first. Here we can turn on the notifications or off for the general use. And then you can customize um, how the notifications or rather how the watch behaves for each type of notifications. We have calls, texts and apps. First calls and we have uh, you can basically turn them on or off and then you can turn on or off the tone and vibration and you can do this for each type of notifications. I'm gonna enable everything for every type like that. Next we have the privacy option. This option allows you to basically hide the content of the notification on your skin so when you receive it the content will be hidden and if you select the press GPS button you will need to press the GPS button to reveal it or the wrist gesture, you will need to perform the wrist gesture to reveal it. And off, of course, it is disabled. And timeout option is uh, basically how long the notification stays on the screen after you receive it. And you have 30 seconds, 1 minute and 3 minutes. And once you're done customizing your settings, go back to the main page of settings of your watch, this one, uh, sync the uh, devices together. And once you sync them, the settings should be applied and notifications should be working. So I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord. And as you can see, we got a notification on our uh, phone and also on our watch. It is here. So it is working and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone.
Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.